Hey, my name's Mikey Kay, and it's great to be back with you all and back in the United States, this time on the West Coast. And based on what's behind me, you've probably guessed that I've landed in San Francisco, California. I spent the last 10 days in quarantine, but now I'm out and I'm good to go. And this season, we're going to be looking into the future and how the healthcare industry is finding new ways to leverage an abundant and critical asset, data. And the Bay Area, and notably Silicon Valley, are perhaps best known as the global hub for digital innovation. Because of COVID, California is fairly locked down right now. So I've got a bike and I'm going to cycle around town to try and meet with some experts in person. And if I can't do that, I'm going to try and zoom with them from the locations where they usually work. Come on, let's go for a cycle ride. Now, according to a study published in the Harvard Business Review, clinicians in the US spend only 27% of their time with their patients. In the UK, it's as low as 17%. The rest of their time is spent in front of computers or doing admin. This leads to patient dissatisfaction, and frankly, clinicians are also burning out. They're becoming a scarce resource. The key to solving a lot of these problems is in the data, and the important bit is most of that data is untapped. According to Dell, the average hospital has 50 petabytes of data, or 50 million gigabytes, and it's growing every year by 36%. That's like streaming over 8 million HD movies on Netflix. This mountain of unused data is a problem that industry experts want to turn into an asset. So this season, I'm speaking to medtech providers, startups, tech companies, and clinicians to learn how they want to make healthcare more effective, preventative, and predictive. <laughs> 